My favorite personality. Quaid e Azam Muhammad Ali was the founder of Pakistan. He was our national hero and my favorite leader. We call him Quaid e Azam and this means the great leader. He made us free and gave us Pakistan to live in. Our national hero was born at Karachi on the 25th of December 1876. He got his early education at Sindh Madrasa and passed his matriculations examination at the age of 17. Then he went to England to study law and was called to the bar in 1896. R. Quaid started his practice in Bombay and very soon he was known as an expert barrister. He became the member of the Muslim League in 1913. He worked day and night for the cause of the Muslims and at last Pakistan came into being on 14 August 1947. He was the first governor-general of Pakistan. Our national hero date on the 11th of September 1948 and was buried in the heart of Karachi. My aim of life. O.R. My ambition of my life. O.R. What I would like to be in life. O.R. The profession I like best. Aim is the essence of life. Without an aim, life is dull and worthless. Aim makes our life charming and attractive. There are so many aims. One wants to be a doctor, one an engineer, another a pilot, a player, a lawyer, a police officer, a businessman etc. I think that teaching is a respectable job. So I want to be a school teacher. Education is the main problem of our country. More than 80% of our population is non-educational. Without education our country cannot develop. I shall teach the boys and girls of my country. I shall be punctual and regular in the school. I shall love my pupils and teach them like a father. I hope that they will also love me in extra time. I shall coach them without charging any tuition fee. In his way I shall develop a team of well-educated and well-disciplined students. These students will become good doctor, good teachers, good politician, and good officers in future. It is the aim of my life and my greatest ambition. Celebration of Eid e Milad un Nabi. O.R. Celebration of Eid e Milad un Nabi, S.A.W., at my school. Eid Milad un Nabi is the birthday of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, S.A.W. It is a big religious festival for all Muslims and is celebrated with zest and fervor all across Pakistan as well as the entire Muslims world. This celebration is a revist of the entire Muslims' Ummah to the most auspicious day the birth of the Holy Prophet PBUH. We celebrated it in our school as well. The day starts with selected student giving a speech on the life and teaching of Hazrat Muhammad, S.A.W. Special Ilamiyat project are displayed by every class. It is more like an open day in the school where every class visits the other and learn about their project. Our school arranges for a millet in the school as well. Students prepare for it weeks ahead in time and it is a well-organized and well-presented program. A picnic at Seaside. O.R. A picnic. Last week, our class arranged a picnic at Seaside. Our class teacher and the monitor made all arrangement. All of us helped them and did as our teacher advised. We left early in the morning, by a special bus. We took with us fruits, sweets, biryani and kebab. After half an hours, we reached Hawks Bay. The morning was blowing. We got down from the bus and placed all the things in a hut. Then we began to play on the sandy shore and swim in the water. Afternoon we got tired and hungry. Therefore, all of us returned to the hut and enjoyed the lunch and fruit. After lunch some of us decided to take rest and other went out of the shore. In the evening, we returned home. It was a delightful picnic and we all enjoyed it very much. It was a great day, full of fun and joy. Recently flood in Pakistan. O.R. Flood in Pakistan. Flood is the natural disaster which causes massive destruction by overflowing of water. This huge amount of water come from heavy rainfalls and snow melting that burden the rivers and result in flood. Floods are common in Pakistan and affect Sindh and Punjab most monsoon season brings lots of heavy rainfalls that increases water level of rivers of Sindh and Punjab rive basins sink into water. Whenever it come it take away many precious lives, take home many poor and left people in misery. Flood take away many houses of people, they are forced to live under open sky. The shortage of clean water and food takes away of many. The other major problem arises the spreading of diseases. Waterborne disease become common and lack of medicine make situation worse. 
Infrastructure damage causes transportation problem. People get struck in their places until the rescue team arrives through helicopters or boats. Natural disaster are not in the hand of man. They can't stop them but can take measure to reduce the damage. Property's loss is amendable but a life loss is a loss forever. Government does take some action for it, but bringing back the life as it used to be takes years. War against terrorism. Terrorism in the broader sense is aggression killing and destruction. It is a way of imposing the views through fear of destruction. Nowadays almost every country is facing terrorist activities in its territory. Pakistan is in a state of war against terrorism. The terrorist activities in Baluchistan and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa have been very vigorous in the previous days. They are still going on. The Pakistan army is at war, with terrorists there. There are terrorist activities at the Afghan border. Our army is also facing them successfully. There are terrorist activities and target killing in various cities of our country. Suicide bombing is a new addition in terrorism. It is at its cling in Iraq. It is also prevailing in Pakistan the recently incident at the Army Public School in the Peshawar. The terrorist entire the Army Public School in Peshawar killed the 135 students, five teachers and 300 students were injured in this incident. The beautiful innocent children's loss own life in the incident. This day was the black day in the history of Pakistan. In this incident the Pakistan Army, politicians, Religious scholars and all of people of Pakistan were very fierce agony and sorrow. Pakistan army fight the terrorist and kill the terrorist that learn the lesson in the army public school. The Pakistan government is fighting a war against terrorism at all fronts. It is now the order of the present time, to continue war against terrorism and not be become weak at any front. An exciting cricket match. Or. An interesting cricket match. Or. World Cup 2015. Cricket is the very popular game in the world. Everyone see the most likely. In the recent World Cup 2015. 14 team in a different countries played in this World Cup. Pakistan and India team in same pool B. The match between South Africa and Pakistan was very exciting. Pakistan had not been won for South Africa in the World Cup history. This day unfortunately weather was not fine and the match started 6 a.m. at local time. Pakistan won the toss and elect to bat first. The opening pair didn't give good performance the Sarfaraz Ahmed first match in the World Cup he played well and Misbah ul Haq also also well in this match. The rain started between the match. In this case the match 47 overs. The whole Pakistan team was bowled out for small total 232 or so. After that South Africa started baiting. Pakistan met with success in the first over Muhammad Irfan got one wicket. South Africa player out early one by one but later excitement and tension came over them. South Africa captain still stay on the pitch and fight. People started praying for Pakistan team. But the bowling pair Wahab Riaz and Suhil Khan gather courage. Suhil Khan took out A flat de Villiers wicket for 76 runs and took home the Pakistan team to a great success. Pakistan won this match by 29 runs. It was a great memorable match in the world. Patriotism. Love of one's country is called patriotism. Almost everyone loves his country. A person does not love his country or works against is called a traitor to his country. Everybody hates such a person and he is liable to serve punishment even death. The patriotism calls for doing our duties honestly, sincerely. We should try to build our country strong and prosperous. Patriotism demands us that we should care for our country as much as we can. Pakistan our homeland and motherland, is one of the best countries in the world. God has bestowed on us great blessings. We should be thankful to God for our country. If we love our country intensely, we can make it a heaven on earth. The spirit of patriotism should prevail in our country. Patriotism is one element of our faith. It means a Muslim should be patriotic to his country. A person who betrays his country is liable to severe punishment. Everybody hates a traitor. Nobody weeps for his death. To betray one's country is a great crime and a sin. We should love our country and always be patriotic to our country. I pray to God that all the traitors of our country are demand to hell forever. Science and its blessings. O.R. The wonders of modern science. O.R.
Science is a blessing or curse. Science is a knowledge about that facts of nature. It not helps in understanding the natural phenomena and natural force but also gives a way of discovering new things for human convenience. Science has made human life easy and comfortable. It has discovered many inventions which are being used all over the world. It is now possible to prevent many infectious diseases has discovered many inventions which are being used all over the world. It is now possible to prevent many infectious disease through the application of science and medical technology. The standard living has been changed because of the use many scientific inventions in everyday life. Science has also made our traveling comfortable. We can travel in railways, ships, motor cars and aeroplane. Electricity has also done the greatest service to man. The use of electricity. Modern machines and computers is common in our industries, offices and homes. Science is a friend of mankind. It is a blessing but it has become a curse in many ways. First it provides much comfort in human life. It has also destroyed the establishment moral values of society. Man has become selfish and he is running after wealth for getting more and more materialistic things. Science has provided us a huge stock of knowledge but unfortunately it is not being put to right use. We have more knowledge and skill but less of character and self-control. The progress of science has made us selfish, greedy and cruel. It is a time when the education of moral values, religion ethics, history and humanities is as vital as the education of science. 